Hi, my name is Sheila Willis of Impact Tourism, the developer of the History Check mobile app. Welcome to History Bites, your daily dose of Alberta historical trivia, brought to you in partnership with Belt Drive Betty Media and the Canadian Motorcycle Tourism Association. You can register to answer the questions for a shot to win prizes, or just take the quiz to satisfy your own brain power. Either way, we're excited to see how much of Alberta's history you really know. And yesterday's question was, an explosion near Delburn in 1945 was caused by A, a mine disaster, B, a Japanese bomb, or C, a gas well? And the answer is B, a Japanese bomb. On March 20th, 1945, there were three incidents. One near Pine Lake, one at Delburn, and another at Wimburn. Near Pine Lake, Gordon Beck and his father Chester were out doing chores when a loud explosion was quickly followed by a second one. Gordon investigated and found a hole in the ground with bomb fragments about a half a mile from his house. In Delburn, five miles to the north, Floyd Hansen and his sister Gladys were on their way to a movie when they heard a dull boom and saw a white object falling from the sky. In Wimborne, Melvin Klein heard something whistling earthward that, is, that hit the ground about 100 yards from his farmhouse. He ran to the site thinking a plane had crashed and there was a hole in the ground with flames coming from it and a loud noise like a roaring fire that continued for about an hour. And of course the big question was, what the heck was it? In December 1941, the Japanese army had experimented with free-floating balloons to carry bombs. Their scientists knew that there was a westerly jet stream that could reach 300 miles per hour. They decided to attack North America in September of 1942 using these balloons and named the project Fugo or Windship Weapon. The balloons were ingeniously designed, inexpensive to make, and capable of causing substantial damage. The initial plan was to use submarines, but that plan was scrapped as the Japanese Navy needed those subs for conventional operations in the Pacific. Instead, they decided to launch 10,000 of the balloons from Japan. The first of the loaded balloons was launched on November 3, 1944, with a plan to launch 200 per day. The first incident in Canada occurred on January 12, 1945, when a balloon released several bombs near Minton, Saskatchewan, all but one failed to detonate. The last balloon was released in Japan on April 20, 1945. There were 300 balloons that were known to cross the ocean. Of these, 88 were incidents in Canada, with 17 in Alberta where the bombs were either sighted or recovered. The bomb incidents ranged as far south as Miniberries and Foremost, and as far north as Hay Lake and Wood Buffalo Park near Fort Chippewan. As there was a voluntary blackout by the press to both deny the Japanese any information on their operation and to keep the public from panicking, there are a few images to share. Instead, for this video, we've shown you places where some of these incidents occurred. The list is available in the YouTube description if you'd like to go look at it. And tomorrow's question is, in 1895, James Donaldson's vigilante punishment for bad behavior was being A. Shaved bald B. Hard and feathered or C. Ran out of town Come back tomorrow for the answer and the story that goes along with it. Then we'll load you up with the next day's question. Enjoy!